Good. So anyway, <laughs> welcome everybody. So uh, uh, David Dervish should be giving the talk, and not me, but he did all the work. But anyway, uh, he's sitting there shaking his head, so I guess I have to, to, to take his place. Anyhow, um, I didn't have a big speech prepared. I hope we can have a conversation, just to talk about anything you're interested in. Um, this, this is sort of, for me, a, a, a delightful occasion just to reminisce, to, to talk about the bad old days and give me a chance to talk about Griggs Restaurant, which, uh, I don't know whether any of you remember Griggs Restaurant on, on Witherspoon Street. It was a great place. It had uh, soul food is what you ate there, ham and cabbage. And I always ate there, and so did Dave Bohm. That's where I learned quantum mechanics. And Dave Bohm and I were both bachelors in Princeton in the bad old days. And so we came to eat at Griggs because we got good food cheap. And uh, I got actually an official note of reprimand from the secretary of, of, of the director of the Institute for Advanced Study, the famous Robert Oppenheimer. <laughs> Reprimanding me and pointing out that it wasn't appropriate for members of the Institute for Advanced Study to be eating at Greek's restaurant in all places. So of course we continued eating there. What was the reason given for for being appropriate? Well, it was obvious. I mean, it was it was a coloured place. That was all. And Princeton, of course, was still even more segregated than it is now. And <laughs> anyhow, that was the bad old days. But uh, we had a great time at Greg's restaurant. And, and so uh, David Baum had just written a book about quantum mechanics, which is an excellent book. And so I used that as a text and learned the subject more or less from him, right, from uh, over the supper table. And, and then, but we had big arguments because he was a philosopher and I was not. And so the question was, I mean, do you, uh, if you're teaching quantum mechanics, do you teach it as a branch of philosophy or do you pre teach it as a branch of uh, engineering? And I was definitely on the side of engineering. He was, of course, on the side of philosophy. So we remained in friendly, friendly disagreement ever, ever since. And when he died, of course, some years ago, he became more and more extremely philosophical as the time went on. And I became more and more extremely engineering. And so, but we continued to be friends. But that's, of course, the interesting thing about quantum mechanics. That nobody really knows what it's all about. And, uh, so you can treat it as a very philosophical subject and go into deep discussions about the uh, deeper meaning of everything that you're doing. Or you can just say, here are the equations, go ahead and calculate. And that's my point of view. That uh, I always thought it that way. And that's the way I think. It's a tool, like everything else in science. It's just a tool happens to work spectacularly well, and to hell with philosophy. And, and, uh, <laughs> so we can argue about that if you like. And, uh, but so that's the point of these lectures in a way. Uh, I should like to just to, 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 to give a little bit of the context. It was uh, at Cornell the lectures were given. Cornell University was my the place I, I came to the United States as a graduate student and immediately attached myself to Richard Feynman who was called a professor there and he was obviously a genius and a, I just enjoyed him tremendously and I went to his classes and had a great time and then three years later Feynman suddenly decided to go to California and uh, went to Caltech where he stayed for the rest of his life. And they had this gaping hole at Cornell. And amazingly, they invited me to step into his shoes. And, and to, there I was, barely 
graduated and, and uh, suddenly trying to pretend I was Feynman. And, and <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I had to do was to give his course on advanced quantum mechanics, and so that's what this was. And I was, of course, tremendously ignorant at that time. I always said, I mean, really, if you want to understand the subject well, you better be ignorant. And, and so I kept always just two or three days ahead of the students, <laughs> prepared each lecture very carefully, and put a lot of hard work into it. And, it, and it, I felt tremendously inadequate in all the time, thinking, well, Feynman would have done that so much better. That was probably all to the good. So it gave me a high standard. And uh, so it came out pretty well. But I wouldn't have imagined in my wildest dreams that I would be selling the lecture notes 60 years. <laughs> <laughs> 60 years later, I mean, well, that's completely absurd. But, but still, it, it seems to have happened. And, uh, so I'm, I'm delighted, and I'm delighted that David Davis took the trouble to digitize the notes. I mean, of course, these were written in one hand and typed up by some hard-working hard, hard secretary in those days, and, and the equations written in by, by hand, and, and uh, David Derbys had the job of turning all that into digital text, which he did, and, and uh, so I'm tremendously grateful to him. And uh, I'm also grateful to World Scientific. I mean, World Scientific is a great institution, I'm happy to see they're having their 30th birthday, so they're almost uh, half as old as the notes. <laughs> <laughs> They've done a terrific job publishing good scientific texts at very reasonable prices. And uh, I've often used their books and been very grateful to them, and now I'm happy to be, I can be grateful even more that they published my old notes. And I'm happy to say, as, as at, at the instigation of David Dervis, that the, law, the, the royalties, if there are any, all go to the public library in New Orleans, which is a good cause, which I'm ha happy to support. The public library in New Orleans lost almost all its stuff in the hurricane. And now we're contributing a little bit to try to get the library established. And David happens to be a native of New Orleans, and that's why he got this idea, which I strongly support. <laughs>